Hello everyone. I hope everyone is safe. Everyone is healthy and doing well. This is going to be a very different update on earthquakes. Yes, it is. I'm going to give you the evidence and I'm going to ask you a question. Maybe multiple questions. Uh, there's a lot of new subscribers here, and I just want to clear something up. And you're going to find this very interesting. I subscribe to a number of channels. Some of them, of these channels, are, are very good insight on earthquakes. Yeah, there's quite a few of them, actually. Some of them, I'm not going to mention any names. Some of them have 30,000, 40,000 subscribers. This channel barely has eight to 9,000 subscribers. So, I'm going to give you the evidence, and I'm just wondering why these channels are not explaining why these earthquakes and volcanic activity and the jet stream and the enormous cracks, the sinkholes. They're not explaining it, ladies and gentlemen. Have you noticed that? I have noticed it for quite a long time. I have been studying all of these subjects, especially the planetary system, for 17 years. The 26,000 cycle since 2011 and the magnetic reversal process since 2011. May I ask you something and I'm going to be I'm just going to get uh, very pacific. Why are they not explaining why these events are taking place? You saw today about the tornadoes 30 days ahead of schedule. The hurricanes are coming. You saw Australia underwater. You saw what was going on in Cali, Colombia. You saw the hurricane that hit India. Have you ever heard of a hurricane hitting in India this time of year? I could have showed you the tornado that hit Vietnam two days ago. What I'm getting at why is these events happening? Have you noticed none of the channels are explaining it in detail? Except for this channel, Earth Changes channel. Because every aspect of these timelines is, that is taking place is related to every single event dealing with earth changes, volcanic activities, earthquakes, enormous cracks, sinkholes, the weakening of the magnetic sphere, the magnetosphere, and how it's draining our planet. And don't forget the planetary system. We're going to get to that in just a minute. I decided to do a different update on the earthquakes to educate some people if you are willing to listen. And I suggest that you do your own homework. Go research about the 26,000 year cycle. It has nothing to do with astronomy. Okay. It's a 26,000 year cycle that deals with constellations as it repeats in a 360 degree every 26,000 years. Why are they not explaining that? Can you answer that question for me? Because this channel 
has given everyone those that's been on this channel for a long time there's a lot of new subscribers and this is for you too because I'm starting to get to the point that I'm fixing to unsubscribe to a lot of these um, earthquake channels mm -hmm. they're not giving me nothing uh uh they may give you something, but they ain't giving me nothing. And and I I think it's very disrespectful for people to say, well, we're just giving it to them because they don't really know a whole lot, and we're just giving them the basic principles. Don't kid yourself. There's a lot of intelligent people out there, including the people on this channel. There is lives at stake here throughout the world it's not just the channels ladies and gentlemen it's, it's the federal government with the USGS that's been lying from the beginning you know they're not telling people that Yellowstone last year the Corvera went from 14 inches in 2020 It went to, listen, 16 inches towards the last six months of 2020. And before that, it was 14 for three or four years. And then it was 12. I remember when it was 10 inches per year. So that's compounded every year. They're not telling no one. They're not telling about the volcanoes that are about to go off on the West Coast of the United States, are they? Mm -mm. No, they're not. So let's begin. This is the 26,000 year cycle. Do you see the constellations? I'm going to slow it down right there. Okay? Has nothing to do with astronomy, ladies and gentlemen. It does not. Mm -mm. It is a natural process that this planet goes through every 26,000 years. And when did it start? About the end of December 2012. When we went into the constellation of Aquarius. So what does it do? The cycle begins a new expansion cycle for this planet. I received that information from a very reliable source. That's a scientist that works for the federal government two miles down in Pine Gap, Australia, before he got out. Mm -hmm. The Earth is expanding from inside the Earth's core. It's creating pressure on the lower mantle, the mantle, and the upper mantle. It's creating bulges. We will get to that in a minute. It's putting a tremendous amount of pressure on the planet. That's why we had 45 volcanic activities about three weeks ago, 42. I don't know what it is now, because two goes up, one goes down, one goes up, two goes down. It's every day now. Every day. What's causing the enormous cracks in Africa? Africa's fixing to split. Okay, it's fixing to split. What's causing the enormous sinkholes? Do you know what's causing that? The planetary system is the second timeline. It comes in every 3,657 years. We're at 3,653. Do the math. 2024, right? We're also biblical perspective. September the 23rd, 2017 marks the beginning 
of the seven year tribulations. A great sign appeared in the heaven, a woman clothed in the sun, with the moon under her feet, and upon her head was twelve stars. And she was pregnant, and was crying out in birth pains, in agony of birth. It ends September 23rd, 2024. What about August the 21st, the solar eclipse? It's going to repeat in April the 8th, 2024. Look at the location, ladies and gentlemen. That's right on top of the Madrid fault line. Right there. Look at it again. Okay, so there's three timelines. Here's number four. Why are they not talking about this, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, we're at 36.75 degrees as of March. Why are they not talking about this? Okay, so there's your fourth one. It's very simple. Why are they not talking about it? 36.7 degrees in March. We're going to be at 37 degrees by July or August. Why are they not talking about that? That's four timelines, ladies and gentlemen, isn't it? Right? I mean, really. Why are they not talking about the 26,000 year cycle the planetary system okay the biblical perspective the magnetic reversal that's four timelines and you know being an independent alternative researcher it's very fascinating when you review your work and realize that you put the puzzle together and you didn't have to use any scissors. Hmm. So my question is, why is this channel the only channel that is given you the four timelines? And this is very critical. Because if you don't understand these timelines, you're not going to understand your reality by 2023. Wait until 2022. When all of this doubles yeah, that's right. Double. The earthquakes are going to double. There's 4,300 underwater volcanoes. They're starting to erupt now. Look what happened in Iceland. It's going to repeat itself. You watch and see another 30, 45 to 60 days. There's going to be another one in Iceland. Probably two, maybe three at the same time in the next few months. So why are they not talking about the current position of the magnetic north? Have you figured that out? Because, you know, that's not all of it. It's all combined together, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? 26,000 year cycle. The planetary system is draining our planet as well as the sun. It's coming in at a 30 degree elliptical orbit. And it's draining the magnetosphere and the magnetic sphere. That's what's causing the jet streams to be weakening and totally out of whack. Why do you think we're having a record number of CMEs? This is the solar minimum, ladies and gentlemen, not the maximum. Okay, why do you think they're having that? You wait until the summer. When the Earth is between the Sun and the planetary system. You think it's bad right now on the earthquakes? You just wait and see. 40 degrees. One degree per year. Do the math. 36.75. We're going to be at 37 here in a couple of months. Do the math. 2023, 2024. The planetary system. Why do you think over 200 people have been deleted 
for leaking out that information. That's right. Over 125. In the Antarctic with the infrared telescope. And they want to confuse you about Planet 9. Planet 9 is a hypocrisy. They have never found it. They're just punching a bunch of numbers into a computer. They don't even have an infrared telescope. They want to confuse you. Go back to work and pay your taxes. Everything's going to be just fine. Why do you think the United States government is putting a underground facility online every 45 to 60 days? We have 168. I remember when it was 145. 168 right now. It's coming in at a 30 degree elliptical orbit. You can see it right there. Why ain't they talking about this? I'm not talking about the news media, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about all of these other channels. They're not talking about it. It's either they don't know how to talk about it or they don't know how to research and get the information themselves. That's why they come here to this channel and they take it back and put it on their channel. I, I don't know. I, I know it. Okay, don't bother me. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Because they're trying to help people. They don't even going to give, you know, Earth Changes channel any credit for it. Why do you think our solar system tilted six degrees? What did that? They're not talking about that either, are they? They're not doing it. The sun tilts every 11.8 years. It goes, it flips 180 degrees. That's, a, that's what starts the solar minimum, solar maximum, ladies and gentlemen. Why are we having record number CMEs right now in the solar minimum. Have you thought about that one? Why aren't these channels talking about it? I don't understand. Why ain't they talking about how the planet is heating up and it's under a tremendous amount of pressure? Have you noticed that? What about the plumes? Mm -hmm. Africa? Right there off the coast of Australia, in the Pacific? Why ain't they talking about that? Canada has one too, did you know that? Right there in Alaska, in South America? Why ain't they talking about that? I'm not talking about the news media. I'm not talking about the government, because the government knows, ladies and gentlemen. Don't kid yourself. They got a quantum computer. A holographic 3D image. Mm -hmm. 360 degree 3D holographic image, and the computer screen's as big as your dining table. Do you think they don't know all of this? Really? Is that what you think? What about all the energy hitting the earth right now? Where's that coming from? Hmm? What about the plumes? There's the one right there in the Pacific, right next to the Fuji Islands. The other one's right there in Africa. What do you think Africa is splitting? I mean, a 15 year old kid can understand that if he had the information, right? What about the 45 volcanoes that went off in a 24-hour period just last month? What about that? Why ain't they talking about that? You know? Well, they're going to predict earthquakes, you know, a week out, two or three days. One individual, I've seen him do it, <laughs> hit it on the money in two weeks out look at this planet that's an old recording i'm fixing to show you the new one ladies and gentlemen and you're gonna be shocked and i'm not calling out a bunch of numbers 2.5 magnitude and all of that I'm, I'm not i'm not doing that okay just hear me out this is what i was told right here 
by intelligence. Keep your eye on South America. It's going to go all the way up to Central America, Costa Rica, Mexico, Baja, and when it hits the Salton Sea, you just wait and see. 8.5 to a 9.5, possible 10.4, and it's going to hit the cascade and start the process. Going to go all the way to Alaska. Where do you think this image came from? This is the United States Navy map that was classified. Mm -hmm. I used to live right there, Houston. I don't live there anymore. I live right here, 7,536 feet. That's where I live. Uh huh. What do you think that is? That's Salt Flats, right outside Salt Lake City. Why didn't, you know, all that water went up there and it evaporated and created the Salt Flats. So it did it before, 10,000 years ago, actually. Almost 11, when Atlantis sunk the continent. So what about the magnetosphere and what's going on with the South Pole splitting in the South Atlantic economy? And how it's weakening? What about that? You don't hear these channels talking about that, do you? Maybe they don't know how to study. Or maybe they just don't have the time. Why ain't these channels that reports on earthquakes are not talking about the jet streams? Could you explain that? And what's causing the jet streams? I can tell you exactly what's causing it. It's a magnetosphere. That's about seven to eight subjects into one term. And it's draining. What's draining the planet? The planetary system. Mm-hmm. You think the jet streams are bad right now? You wait until this summer when Earth is between the Sun and the planetary system at a 30 degree elliptical orbit. Do you think this is bad? This ain't nothing. You wait a couple more months. What's causing it? You don't hear these other channels talking about it, do you? Why is it that I, 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 this channel is the only one that's giving the information out. Okay, I, I invite you to go do your own research and you tell me where I'm wrong. You tell me why Australia is flooding right now and what's causing it. I know it's raining, moisture. That's not what I'm talking about. That's, I, I want you to tell me what's causing it. I'm not talking about the jet stream. Look at that. I ain't talking about that. That's in the North Pole. What's causing this? Now, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, ladies and gentlemen. I'm giving you a quiz here. Please. Listen to me. What's causing it? You think this is a natural event? What if I told you the 26,000 year cycle has nothing to do with the jet stream weakening? Uh-uh. No, it doesn't. Planetary systems got that one. And you know what's funny? I go to these news channels from time to time when I want some entertainment. And they, you know what they say? Our government does not know what's causing it. That's a doggone lie. Look at the United States. Have you ever seen anything like that? And I'm not going to call out a magnitude 4.5 and the you know the depth of the kilometers. I, I I'm not I, I'm not doing that. Not on this one. Because I'm tired. Look at all the fives and the fours right there by New Zealand. What's causing that? Oh, the Earth is expanding, and the plumes there. Look at, look at the ring of fire. Look at that. Now look, I've been on top of the subject for a long time. 
And I'm telling you, when the closure gets done, it's going to be done. I'm going to explain it here in a minute. Okay. Starting to take place now in the Antarctic. Look at Hawaii. You can't even see Alaska, can you? No. I'm going to take the rings and the shells off. Look at California. You ever seen anything like that? Mm -mm. No, you haven't. Look at Alaska. Look at Hawaii. You can't even see Utah. It's all buried up. California's got them all hidden. That right there in Texas, I did some research. That's a fault line right there. But they're also doing some fracking. There's another one going right through Oklahoma. But they're doing fracking too. So pick one. That is a major fault line. That's the Madrid. Look at all the indications happening right there in Tennessee. It's increasing. You remember a couple of weeks ago, it was only one or two? But that's a fault line right there. It's one through, going through Oklahoma. I'm going to show you something else. Look at Yellowstone. Where's the thousand earthquakes that has taken place in Yellowstone over the last two years? See what that is? That's volcanic activity that's about to take place. The earthquakes are starting at the base of these volcanoes. I stated that weeks ago, months ago. That's in Oregon. Not much, right? 1.4, 2.0. That's at the, the base of the volcano. Look at these areas. Look right there, Nevada. That right there in Northern California, volcanoes, ancient, dormant, but they're not ancient no more. They're active, ladies and gentlemen. They are loaded with magna. Look at all this right here. Right there. I'm not going to count all these numbers off. Look right there. That's the Madrid. What was it like three weeks ago? Only one or two several of them right now you saw the x right the x right on top of the madrid 2024 but look at all this look at alaska you ever seen alaska look like that there's a bulge right there where my arrow is a bulge right there you just saw it a plume. You watch and see the close is going to close up right there in this area. Right there. It's going to close up. You can see it right there. It's starting to close up right over in Japan. Coming down from Russia. Right? Look at that area. A lot of underwater volcanoes right there. That's what most of that is. And right there in the Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia. Mm -hmm. It's not rocket science. The plume is causing it. Right there off of Fuji. And New Zealand. Look at the shell. Extremely large. Let's go over here to South America. Look at all that. Looks like they dropped off a little bit, but they got bigger. So when the closure closes up around South America, Nicaragua, then the process is going to start. See that right there? That's a major fault line. I'm going to take you somewhere. But first look at this. Fault lines all through there. Does this look familiar? That's where the ancient volcano, 62 miles across, right there, on the magnetic reversal at 40 degrees. And now we've got a 5.4 right there. 
First time I ever seen that. Look what's happening in the chart. Mm -hmm. So the ring of fire is happening. I look for it to close up within the next month or two. Have you ever seen anything like that? Why ain't these channels talking about what's causing it? I mean, a 15, 18 year old kid can do a little bit of homework and understand earthquakes. It's not rocket science, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's not. You can do a baseline study in about two, three weeks. If that's not enough, we've got the rocks coming. Why ain't they talking about that? Because it doesn't involve earthquakes. Okay. Well, the 26,000 year cycle doesn't involve earthquakes. The planetary systems pushing debris. The Trojans was hit. Uh-huh. Why ain't they talking about that? I guess I guess they just don't maybe haven't had the time to research. I'm sure those people are very busy. Why ain't they talking about these rocks? You ought to go over to the Earth Changers channel and check out the other channel, Deep Truth, Deep Impact. His asteroid came in three days ago. Huge. NASA didn't see it. Jet Propulsion Laboratory didn't see it. And the European Space Agency didn't see it either. Came out of nowhere. Had no identification number. They don't know if it was a Trojan, but I know what it was. It wasn't an Apollo. They're not going to tell you about the Trojans coming. It was a Trojan. I guarantee it. I can't prove it. Because there's no information on it. These rocks are coming. Trojan belt was interrupted. Two rocks collided and exploded. And the information I got four months ago, they'll be here between four and six months. Well, we got two more months, two to three more months. It didn't come from astronomy. It came from a hmm, someone related to intelligence. Federal government. Now I don't understand if they can't talk about that. That's you know, but these rocks are coming. Don't get yourself. And I'm not trying to give you this information so you can go over there to deep truth, deep impact. I, I'm not doing that. I don't care if you go over there or not. I'm just trying to tell you we're gonna get hit this year. Mm-hmm. So, what's the timeline? Again, 26,000 year cycle. Earth is expanding. The planetary system comes in every 3,657 years. We're at 3,653. Do the math. 2024. Magnetic reversal. 3... 36.75 One degree per year Tipping points 40 degrees 2023, 2024 Pick one Don't leave out the biblical perspective Okay, don't leave that out Spent four months on that subject 50 hours a week I tried to debunk it in two weeks. I couldn't do it. And I was three months in denial. Writing an article. And doing some research. I failed trying to debunk it. It's here. Whether you like it or not. And people say, well, I don't want the biblical perspective. I want scientific evidence. Well, I'm sorry. It all goes together. Okay. It all goes together. You know, it's stated in the book of Revelation, every mountain and island will be moved off its foundation. That's a magnetic reversal. Hello? It said a third of the stars will fall from the earth to earth from the planetary system Wormwood. Hello? That's a 30 degree elliptical orbit. Mm-hmm. 
where's the Bible perspective? Oh, I don't want to hear that. I want scientific evidence. Well, why are they talking about that? Because it's not scientific evidence. So, I think I'm going to end it here now. I'm extremely tired. I'm very disappointed in certain channels that don't talk about it. But they come over, not all of them, but some of them come over and they take my information, take it back to the channel and never give Earth Changes channel or myself any credit. All they had to do was email me. They didn't do that. We're at the end of eight. If I was you, I'll go back and watch. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. Are you going to pass the final exam? End of eight. And then you'll understand what's happening. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we're living in the time of the second coming of Christ is going to take place, whether you like it or not. I like it myself because I'm ready to go home. I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. I don't want to be here anymore. This ain't my home. This isn't where I came from. I never came from this planet. And my brother from another monk mother is not a stupid monkey I was sent here for you and anyone that will listen as a messenger I'm not a prophet I'm not an evangelist I don't have a PhD I'm just like you I just had the desire to find out the truth because we've been lied to from the beginning and we're going to be lied to all the way to the end mm -hmm. not everybody's going to make it so what's the purpose of Earth Changes Channel? To help you prepare and to help you prepare spiritually. And that's it. That's it. And if you want to go with Buddha or Islam or Hindu, go ahead. I don't resonate with those three. And I'm not Jewish. So I'm going with Yahshua, Jesus Christ. That's it. But I'll tell you what. The signs are before us, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going home, and I hope you got your ticket, because I got my ticket, and I'm going home. We're not going to get out alive. We're not going to make it through this planetary system, I'm telling you right now. And we're not going to make it through the magnetic reversal process. We're not going to make it. End of age is what I'm talking about. But you know how you're going to make it? If you make free will decision be paid for through the blood of Jesus Christ that's that's what I would do and then you have absolutely nothing to worry about because we're going home ladies and gentlemen he said let not your heart be troubled well I have gone you shall come also love you all be safe everyone and God bless you all always much love.